male pastor slut shamed for sexy skinny jeans. <laughs> After wearing skinny jeans while preaching, a pastor from South Dakota, Reverend Adam Weber, was chastised by a congregation member for dressing, quote, too sexy on purpose. What? Weber received a, a letter with in purple ink from an anonymous churchgoer of his congregation, Embrace Church. Quote, as head pastor, do you really think it's appropriate to wear skinny leg jeans to preach? Since when do men wear skinny jeans? Where is your common sense? This is an outrage. You are a representative of Christ, the congregants said in their letter. They also added, quote, this is mandatory being in ministry. This looks like you are trying on purpose to be sexy. And then in all caps, just disgusting for a pastor. Use some common sense. Dress like you should. You are not in middle school, but rather responsible for an entire church. <laughs> Weber told the New York Post that this sharp critique of his fashion initially hurt him. He also said he shared photos of the letter in hopes of reaching out to them, saying that he genuinely harbors no ill will towards the letter sender. So this is just hilarious to me, and I wanted to cover it because we need lighter news when we can get it. <laughs> Look at the all caps. Okay, so it keeps getting more aggressive. So at first, complete. Look at the devil. <laughs> like completely if you, offensive, like, morally wrong. <laughs> wrong. But look at the underlines. Like light. Like so. This is an outrage. Underline. 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 What is this? <laughs> Morally wrong. Uh, no, no, what this this part. The, oh yeah. Going. Praise and worship team should also dress conservatively. <laughs> but the second page gets even more aggressive. So see, because these are mostly lowercase, but then the second page, everything on the second page is all caps. You are not in the in middle school all underlined. This is so funny. Get a clue also. <laughs> so, oh my God. This is so beautiful. I don't, <laughs> wait, I want to see, I don't see any pictures of the guy in, like, I want to see how bad it was. Do we have a, no, that's the him? wrong story. Yeah, yeah. Go up to the top. I don't see much of the skinny jean, just a little bit. Oh, Here. wait, if you Here's give the... me a second, I can actually pull up the skinny jean. I want to see how... Wait. The, I mean, I don't know if you guys are ready for this level of sex appeal, you know? Like, this is, I I mean, are we prepared? Is this allowed on YouTube? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Armin, while this. I pull this up... If you scroll down in the news story, we have a YouTube video of a compilation of um, pastors getting mad at skinny jeans. <laughs> Wait, no, go oh, to really? the beginning. It's so yeah, okay. funny. Wait, hold on, hold on. I need to. Hold on. I love their southern yeah. accents, guys. If you're not from America and you don't know the glory of the southern accent, like you're about to find out. Okay, I have it. Okay. This is so funny. I am sick and tired of all these goons, and they probably some I'm watching tonight, and I couldn't give a flip less. The piano in the background kills me. All our young men hate what we are and are running as fast as they can to this limp wristed, emasculated, skinny jean wearing. <laughs> Dirty type preaching, and let me just say this: we are we are Dirtly really preaching today, where they have demasculinized the church. They took away our manhood. They want everybody to stand in the pulpit and act like little girls and act real effeminate. And, brother, I'm not interested in that. But it's a man that can get up and act like he's putting on a rock concert. Some stringy-haired, skinny, jean-wearing dude get up on the stage and lead everybody into a, a, a blazing rock song or something some man looks like a man you guys with your skinny jeans what is up with your skinny jeans guys <laughs> skinny jeans are invented by the homosexual crowd in the fashion industry look at me so some guy some guy look that's a me. homosexual can scope you 
He's going to be a worship hater. Better watch out for these little skinny jeans wearing. Uh, these little no neckties. Uh, these little guys that like to sing kumbaya. I'd rather stand up and listen to a man of God that can lead music that's got the touch of God on him like Brother Lloyd. Uh, Let me go ahead on my rant one more time about these rock and roll churches with wicked members lifting up unholy hands listening to Miss Jagger dress pastors with their little skinny tight jean breeches with their tight t-shirts with the breeches with their spiked hair I was preaching that out on skinny jeans <laughs> can I just help you to understand you never have to worry about seeing brother Curlin in skinny jeans <laughs> amen don't get a visual on that, praise God. <laughs> and then had a pair of blue jeans on so tight that, that you could put a quarter in the back pocket and leave his head to the table. Ha! And skinny jeans, you ain't skinny. Don't be like the president of the Southern Baptist Convention who wears skinny jeans sissy britches to preach oh, his false gospel, but then wears a suit to the White House. And if men, you walk and you dress yourself modestly as Okay, I want to see your. I want to see what you have. Let's investigate the skinny jeans in question, okay? Okay. Chat, put a one in the chat. If this is just, if this is morally wrong and so sexy that you are taken away from the path of Christ, okay? Oh, oh yeah, that's not. <laughs> I love it. Guys, is, I, I, what what is this making you feel? Are is this too much for you guys? Are you guys? I have, leave, I have the vapors. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't. I I don't know if this is allowed on YouTube. To be honest, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh my god, that's too much. What what is like seriously, what is the problem? They they think this is like feminine? Yeah. Okay, wait, hold on. Let me show you something. I mean, look at this slut. He's showing too much leg, okay? Look at this. Or is is it is it godly to see this this much thigh? Okay. <laughs> While preaching the what? word of Christ? <laughs> well, I mean, let People me also, show you. I think they have a problem with skinny jeans also because um, you, I mean, depending on the rest of your outfit, you can see a lot of the junk a lot of times. It can be very tight in the crotchular area, and that might not be, you know, halal. And this pastor defended himself by saying that he only owns three pairs of pants and they're all skinny jeans. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay, let me let me show you what is traditionally been seen as masculine. Okay? Wait, no, this wait, this okay. is saying my skinny jeans are torn from the raging boner he gives me. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. Sexy. Um, but no, seriously, look at this. Tradition this is your traditional values. This is what's considered to be masculine. Men show used to strong legs need to be was something to be highlighted as a way to show how masculine you are. And look at these high heels. This is these are right. These you were signed the quads. You got to show were, the quad. <laughs> no, no, by the way, guys, this is not a joke. These used to be symbols of masculinity. Like I'm not like making I'm not being ironic or like this is I'm being serious. These were symbols of masculinity at some point. Just to, just to, just for you guys to see how much uh, this is based on social agreements and culture and trends. Uh, a lot of people pretend that everything that we understand to be feminine or masculine is biological and inherent within our brains, and we're born with it. But given, but you can see that now anybody saying anything like this, you would consider that very feminine. 
but at some point this was ultimate way of showing your masculinity so you can see how much like i'm not denying that a lot of our a lot of what we consider to be masculine is biological but a lot of it is also just social agreements and culture yeah <laughs> oh, look at that sassy pose yeah oh he's he's giving us a yeah he's giving us a pose this is look at how also, deliberate i love this look comment at, from mustafa yeah. this is a total self-report she's clearly sexually repressed the sexiest thing she's seen was the faces of mount rushmore mustafa i completely agree if you're this upset about seeing a man in skinny jeans you need a release <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I do think like a lot of these people are feeling certain, you know, I, not all of them, but a lot of them might be feeling certain things that they're not comfortable feeling when they see these men showing up with skinny, you know, they just, it's a self-report basically. They're yeah. like, I don't want, yeah. It also just makes me, it does make me chuckle to see a male pastor getting slut shamed. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> You slut, you dare stand on stage and preach the word of our Lord and Savior wearing that, you whore? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Okay, you know what? I can spend the next hour just listening to you <laughs> make <laughs> talk like that. Okay, like you're acting. <laughs> you whore? Is this the propaganda of the homosexuals? <laughs> can we just have a show where you just like do that? Can we have like a one hour show with you just making fun I do of dramatic person? readings of pissed off Christians. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I think that would, guys, wouldn't that be popular? I would like, I would watch the hell out of it. I would watch that multiple times. Um, you're right. We should try to integrate this kind of stuff more. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free. Too sexy to show most of it here on YouTube. We draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary, Japanese God, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art.